So what we are gonna do today is we're gonna harass Jack now. Yes, finally! Well, definitely takes a small army to get a liner this size in. It looks absolutely incredible how huge this pond actually is. Hey guys, as you can, uh, Dan, just unbelievable. So guys, we're back. So let me spin you around and I can show you guys. So, what the, oh, oh it's, it's a little dark. What's going on DK Team Aquascape? We are back out here at the Bartlett job for the amazing set of clients that have been super patient. We had a slight hiccup on this project. We had to pull off for about a month, month and a half due to some municipality permitting issues. So we got our paperwork in order. We got the green light. So we are back here. It's Jack, Luis and I. Chris is even back and we are excited to get rolling. It's snowing. We love this kind of weather. You guys know that, right Jack? Oh yeah. Right, right, right. So what we are gonna do today is we're gonna harass Jack no, just Yes, kidding. finally. See, the funny thing is, I was telling Dan earlier that when it's 30 mile an hour winds and snowing, snowing pretty much, and it's cold. Luis, I, yeah. he's bundled like it's snowball season. Yeah. Okay, don't only finish, but okay, whatever, whatever. But okay. Jack, Jack's slap happy and I'm happy. I'm slap happy. It's Monday, we're back, we're building, and I'm ready to go. Hopefully, we can finish this thing. All right, what's the game plan for today? So we got the 304 here, we got our equipment set up. I keep interrupting Jack because it's yeah. fun. You done? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Maybe, maybe not, but roll with it. I'm gonna let it wait. You gonna let it simmer? Anything else to say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You done? Everybody uh, go have a coffee break. All right. We'll All right, back. so we're back. And as you can see, when we left, we wanted to tarp everything, because we weren't sure how long we were gonna be out not on this job for. So we tarped everything and we came back. And as you can see, the tarps did a pretty good job keeping everything dry. Last night, unfortunately, we got pounded with rain, but- It's frozen today. It's so. frozen today, so thank God no rain's here. There was a little bit of wetness here and there, but for the most part, it's dry. So that's all good. We're gonna pull the tarps up, we're gonna drain the pond, and we're gonna start digging. Our biofall is gonna sit up here in this area, and we're gonna hopefully get as far as we can today. If it's windy, sorry, sorry about that, guys. It is 30 mile an hour winds right now. But hey, our screen's clean. Yeah, our, our screen's clean, so you're welcome, guys. <laughs> you just gotta deal with the wind now, and that's out of our control. So we're gonna try to get as far as we can today. I know tomorrow is not looking too promising, so we're gonna play it by ear, especially with it being December. It's kinda like, all right, if we can get out here, we're gonna get out here. It's one more day here is another day that we don't have to be here next year. So, yeah. all right, let's do it. A little tip and trick. We just didn't have enough hose to reach from there all the way to our drain. So we're actually hopscotching the water from here to here where we're already pumping so that we can be moving just as efficiently. Also a nice shout out to our clients. They were nice enough to be as patient as they have been and they actually brought us donuts today. So a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are awesome. got our biofall set. We've been working this afternoon getting this berm all graded out, kind of dialed into a rough grade. We've been working on extending this retaining wall back through here to retain it all. It's really not going to be seen so we kind of tried to use some of our less desirable rocks that you're not going to see but we still got some nice good sized ones in there. So good blend of that. Chris is working on kind of polishing off that spoil pile and digging in the pond. Jack's over here with the dingo kind of sliding in the mud. Working on filling in the old pond which is gonna be a future stream that we'll dig in once we get the pond done. Luis is down there kind of just fine tuning the bottom. And I think we'll have this thing roughed in today. It's a good day, guys! Jack's still slap happy as can be. And it's about two degrees colder. So we got that going for us. see behind me we got 80% eh, of the pond dug. We got the deep end all dialed in, all the shelves done. We got the upper shelves to dig but we're gonna hold off until we get some of the rock work set in this back edge. Like Chris said we've got the retaining wall going in back there. We gotta get that in and then we'll dig this upper edge later on in the week. So that being said it's been a good day. It's cold so we are gonna head back to the shop get some other work done before daylight and we will be back in a flash. Hey guys, 
out in uh, Bartlett today, so I'm gonna spin you guys around in a little bit and show you the progress that we're making so far. I just wanna come out here and tell you guys that it is currently 12 degrees out. It's pretty balmy out here, not gonna lie. It's a little cold, but at least the wind's not out and the sun's out and better than yesterday. So let me spin you guys around and show you what we got going on today. As you can see, Luis and I are down here. We're shaping out this shelf down here with Chris and the excavator kind of pogging away all the frost and we're coming in and just fine tuning everything, all the shelves and all the sides. We got our trench down here and let me come down here real quick. Now down here is our trench as you can see that goes all the way along this inner cove and this side right here is going to be where our block wall is going to be at. So this block wall is going to go four feet from our deep spot all the way up to the patio which is right here. So that wall is going to come up to here and then we're going to get a cap that sits on top of those and it's going to match even with the uh, top of those bricks. When you look off that patio it's just going to be a straight four feet down into the pond and you can see we're making our stockpile of dirt with filling in that old pond that was sitting over in that corner and yeah so this is the progress for so far. Definitely takes a small army to get an aligner this size in. It looks absolutely incredible how huge this pond actually is. Right now we've got heavy duty fabric over the top of the liner, heavy duty fabric underneath. The guys are gonna start staging some of those bricks down below just to get them down there so that we can start putting some of the limestone screenings, which are right there, which will be our base material set underneath and leveling out that bottom course, which will set the elevation for the wall going up in its entirety. We'll work in a handful of boulders into that wall as well and cut those bricks around the boulders, giving it a very custom look. You can see Dan pulling out a lot of the folds in the fabric. So big, big milestone today so that we can get rock and rolling tomorrow. There are a few flakes flying now, which we knew there was a chance, but I think the cold weather, guys, the temperature, Dan, how'd it go? Look good. I, I think we thought it was going to be a lot worse today considering yesterday it was windy. Today, I think, God, there was no wind and it was, yeah. I mean, yeah, we were in the teens, but it wasn't windy. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah, I would say, I would say so too. Good. So good progress is being made, but we're going to continue rolling and we'll pray for a little bit warmer weather and no flakes tomorrow. I'm back. So it's currently Wednesday, a lot warmer than yesterday. That's for sure. The sun's out. We got a lot of progress done yesterday. So I'm going to spin you guys around and show you guys. So yesterday, as you can see, we have our liner. It's a little, little fuzzy there. Hey guys, as you can, Dan, just unbelievable. So guys, we're back. And yesterday we were able to get a lot of work done. We got the pond excavated and we got the liner underlayment in. And today we we're working on our rock wall. So let me spin you around and I can show you guys. So what the hell? Oh, oh it's, it's a little dark. We've got an interesting setup today, huh? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, the weather is a little bit warmer than it was yesterday, but it's windy, right? So we've got this nice little pop-up canopy set up. We've got our torpedo heater, propane. And the reason we're doing that is really just to keep these bricks warm, right? Because we're going to start the brick wall today. So why don't you walk us through what's happening? Yeah, so as you can see right now, Dan's going along and he's stacking brick because we're from pretty much from that rock over here along this curve into this rock is going to be a brick wall, a four foot high brick wall. It's going to pretty much to right here. I mean, it's gonna go it's gonna you're gonna look down that patio and look straight down into the pond four foot deep section yeah so super important moment is you know setting this bottom course the reason the heaters here is we need to heat the bricks up so that our adhesive will bond the bricks to each other but Dan is working really hard on setting this bottom course making sure that when the bricks from the patio get rebuilt or the patio gets rebuilt the bricks will sit right on top of that wall so I think Dan needs to be about three inches Dan yeah you got there right at it right at it I think he's done this before. So, first 
<laughs> Brick walls are always a challenge, but I love using these big boulders kind of as bookends, but we're also gonna carve in a couple boulders on this back ledge as well. So Jack or Dan um, are gonna take over and as this process is happening, explaining how this wall is getting put together and some of the things that we're considering. So we're gonna make some stuff happen today. Jack's also gonna work with Steve on the intake bay area, kind of getting that finalized, getting the pump vault in, skimmer in, that kind of stuff. And we should make some really good progress today. And these guys will be in their bikinis and these guys will still be in their car hearts. Yep. So good deal. Luis, you needed to work on your tan anyways. <laughs> you and Dan both. Yeah. You're getting a little white. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Good shape, huh? Yeah, I would say uh, we're going to be in good shape for the day. They'll be nice and warm and then uh, we'll need later some lights. Yeah. There you go. Break them out. Yeah. 